Hello guys, today I'll be showing you how to install Custom Firmware Pro B10 onto your PSP. Uh, this custom firmware will work on PSP models 1000, 2000, 3000, and the PSP Go. Uh, custom Firmware Pro B10 comes in four different versions. Uh, it comes, uh, oh, there's uh, four different versions, and each version is for a different official firmware. So there's 6.60, 6.39, 6.35, is and 6.20 custom firmware Pro B10s. So if you have um, any of these four different official firmwares on your PSP, you can install Pro B10 on your PSP. Now if you don't have any of these four uh, official firmwares, uh, all you need to do is update to one of them, and I recommend updating to official firmware 6.60 because that's the latest official firmware for the PSP as of as of September 2012 so um, all you have to do uh, so uh, getting into this tutorial the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna download the correct version of custom firmware Pro B10 onto your PSP so if you have official firmware 6.60 you're gonna download the 6.60 Pro B10 version. And see how that makes sense? See how? So uh, if you go to the video description, there'll be four different uh, links for Pro B10, each for the four different types of official firmwares, and you're gonna pick the one that you have on your PSP. And like I said before, if you don't have any of those, just upgrade to one of them. And a download link for the official firmwares is also in my description in case you need to upgrade to one of those firmwares so the first thing you're gonna do is like I said before download the correct version of the custom firmware I have I'm gonna use 6.20 Pro B10 as an example for today now the tutorial works the same way for any of these four different versions of Pro B10 so uh, they're all the same way they all follow the same uh, steps to install them so they're not different so installing 6.20 Pro B10 would be the same as installing 6.60 Pro B10 so I'm gonna use 6.20 as an example and if you, you're using a different one that's fine like I said before it takes the same steps to install them so the first thing you're gonna do is, is just download the Pro B10 version that's right for you and after you download it you're gonna open it using WinRAR if you don't have WinRAR I have a description for when I have a link to download WinRAR in the video description uh, WinRAR just allows you to open zip, zipped files but it can do other things as well <coughs> so uh, after you open up the downloaded file you're gonna see three different files you're gonna see PSP SE plugins and SDK and a credit text file. All we all we are looking at is the PSP file. That's all we're going to uh, worry about. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to hook up your PSP to your computer. It should look like this. You should be at the root of your PSP, and it should just look like this. You should see a PSP folder, video folder, music folder, picture folder. You, sh you should see all those folders. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to go back to the file you downloaded and you're gonna select the PSP file and you're gonna drag and drop to your PSP just like that and it it's gonna say uh, do you want uh, it's gonna ask you to confirm photo replace you're gonna press yes to anything you won't lose any files uh, you actually won't lose any files uh, uh, when you do this cuz um you just won't lose any files don't worry about losing any files just drag the PSP file over to the PSP I already did that previously so it asked me to replace a bunch of files you probably won't get that alright once you drag those files onto your PSP you're gonna unhook your PSP and you're going to yeah you're gonna go to your PSP and you're going to disconnect your PSP from your computer 
and you're going to actually go to um, the system storage for the game section on your PSP and you're going to see um, these two files uh, you're going to see a uh, pro you're going to see pro B permanent patch you're going to see the pro update and you're going to see fast recovery we're going to click on the pro update say it says pro update we're going to choose that so just choose that just going to wait for that so you just chosen pro update so choose pro update first okay and uh, right right here it says um press x to launch custom firmware so we're going to press x it's going to do all these crazy little words and it says press x again and now it's rebooting it's rebooting okay so now we just installed the pro b10 on our psp now we're going to check and see if um, we did or not so we're going to just go to uh, system settings we're going to go down to system information as you see This is 6.20 Pro B10. So you, if it's, if you go to your system settings and you look at uh, your system information, and it says um, uh, it says Pro B10, 6.20 Pro B10, uh, then you installed it correctly. So just go. To just go check your system software and if it says 6.20 Pro B10 like mine does as you see as you see from right there it says 6. Point, it says Pro B10 if it, if you're uh, if it if it just says Pro B10 then you installed it correctly I'm sorry um, I'm not speaking too well right now all right, and um, now we're just going to turn it off. So we're not done yet. We're going to have to turn off the PSP. Turn it off all the way. And turn it back on. I'm going to show you guys how to use the fast recovery. Now let's go back to our system settings and let's go back to system information and right now it says if you look at your system software it says it will say version whatever you have so it will say version for mine it says version 6.20 so right now as you observe um, the Pro B10 it, uh, it doesn't say Pro B10 anymore um, the reason that it does that is because every time you turn off your PSP and turn it back on, you'll lose your custom firmware. And in order to get it back, it's quite simple, really. You just go to System Storage at the Game section. And um, you go to Fast Recovery. Fast Recovery. So you go to Pro B10. Pro B Fast Recovery. So you choose Fast Recovery. I'm going to choose Fast Recovery. It's going to do that. And it's going to reboot. And if we go back to our system settings. And we go to 
system information we'll see that um, 6.20 Pro B10 on the system software section it says 6. Point whatever Pro B10 so if it says Pro B10 in the system software section again after you after you boot it up um, fast recovery then you installed the custom firmware correctly so every time you turn off your PSP and you turn turn it back on you're gonna have to go do fast recovery and it will re-enable custom firmware onto your PSP alright now after you re-enabled custom firmware on your PSP you can also do um, the Pro B the Pro B permanent patch. If you choose this, you will permanently put a custom firmware on your PSP. So you're basically you're gonna flash it, you'll flash it, and uh, you won't have to go through fast recovery anymore. So every time you turn on your PSP, you won't have to select fast recovery to enable custom firmware on your PSP. Now the only catch is that there's a chance you might uh permanently damage your PSP into a unused, um, unusable state. So if you decide to do the permanent patch, do it with caution and do it with do it no and if you do it there's a chance you'll break your PSP. So um if you don't want to do the permanent patch, just remember after every time you turn off your PSP and turn turn it back on, you're gonna have to do fast recovery. So you're gonna have to do fast recovery for your PSP. Fast recovery for your PSP. Every time you turn off your PSP and turn it back on, you have to select fast recovery to re-enable custom firmware on your PSP. And that's not really a big hassle. So uh, thank you for watching this video, and I hope it helped you. If you have a problem, just comment, and I'll get to you, and I'll help you as soon as I can.